It always starts. All these great ideas, all these great things happen because one person just says, you know what, I'm going to do something different. My name is Brent. I like to play chess and sports. Our friend Tom in Tronowitz called us and he asked us if he, if we would be okay with him shaving his head for our son. When we found out that Brent was uh, diagnosed with neuroblastoma, um, they started this idea of working with St. Baldrick's. He, uh, you know, in my mind, stepped up and became kind of the leader of what we were going to do. The ironic thing is, I, I, I don't really feel like it's I'm doing anything above and beyond or extraordinary. It's just uh, the combination of many people doing this uh, and contributing to the cause. Although our efforts seem small to us, there's a real ripple effect in bringing the community together and really spreading the word and the amount of money that we've been able to raise has been amazing. This grant specifically deals with some of the cognitive and some of the emotional um, challenges that happen after uh, the treatment. I love this grant because we can try and eliminate or help reduce some of these challenges that kids are fighting. It's really amazing. I love St. Baldrick's for that. Having a grant that is going to go towards pediatric cancer is important. I think it's not as much what it means to us as what it means to Team Brent. All of the people that represent Team Brent can look at what they've done and see tangible results. I think if someone is looking for a way to get involved, they don't really have to look very far. The hair will grow back even if you don't shave. Um, it's still uh, amazing to witness the capacity of, of an event run by St. Baldrick's and Team Brent. I think the best thing about St. Baldrick's is how each person can make a difference. It's amazing what happens when you bring that many people together, you can actually affect change. 